What's up, beautiful people? It's Hershey Sunday, and I'm back with the scoop. Child, we got a lot of topics to cover, so let go. So, breaking news by Hollywood Unlocked has stated that Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, were in a near-catastrophic paparazzi chase for two hours. So, this is what happened. Uh, Meghan Markle had an award show that Prince Harry and her mom were attending with her. After the award show, they got into the car. Paparazzi were hounding them down for nearly two hours. Um, they ended up almost colliding with two other vehicles nypd got involved it was just a whole mess y'all prayers up for this couple their family because we all know what happened to his mama okay and just because they over here in the u.s don't mean that the crown don't follow so just keep them up in prayer okay we don't need what happened to his you know beloved mother um to happen to them um it's it's a hot t tail mess child hot tail mess Moving on to some baby daddy, baby mama news. Um, Khloe Kardashian denies being back with Tristan Thompson despite her being at the Lakers game. Compares it to family still being cool with Scott. Some things are just as simple as they seem. A family member supporting another family member. Girl, if you still hunching on your baby daddy, just say that. Okay, because you're the first one and you won't be the last. Ain't no shame in it. Mm. <laughs> no, she probably is just supporting uh, the father of their children. But, um... Even if you was still hunting him, girl, that's your business. Like I said, it's familiar, okay? You done been down that path time and time again, and you know what you're getting into. Sometimes you just got to go back and two-step with your old two-step partner. And that's okay. Just be safe. <laughs> Moving on. Martha Stewart says she's not snatching her cat back just to look cute for you hoes. <laughs> She said, I'm 81 years old. I won't alter my face to look young. I don't want to do that. Now, she put in comparison to Madonna, um, in, in, in not a negative way, but saying that she's an entertainer and her job is to reinvent herself, recreate herself, and she just don't want to do that. And, baby, the looks of Miss Martha Stewart. Listen, Martha done been to jail, okay? She'd have been to 26 of California, if you know, you know. Shout out to my Chicago people. Martha ain't finna snap that cat back for y'all. She a real thug. She hanged with Tupac, smoked that good gonsha, allegedly, because <laughs> I wasn't there, and, and cook her crumpets and mind her business. When you mind your business and you hydrate yourself and hang around the blacks, you going to look younger. She look cute right here, looking like Beyonce mama. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> I'm here for it. Moving on. Oh, y'all, let's get into some nasty news. Now, former mayor of New York, Rudy Giuliani, was accused of having his former aide giving him the glug, 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 rinse and repeat. Um, in a new $10 million lawsuit. So let's get into it. And I got this from Bala Alert, by the way. So a new lawsuit uh, by Noelle Dunphy, she was a former employee, says that she used to have to give him, forcibly give him the glug, 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 glug under the desk while he was on the phone with such clients as Donald Trump and others. Uh, says that he wanted to allegedly feel like Bill Clinton. Baby the gag. The report goes on to say that uh, Dunphy was hired as Giuliani's director of business development in 2019. Upon accepting the role, she says she's offered a million dollar salary and free legal representation. However, he told her that her promised pay had to be delayed due to this ongoing divorce. Instead, Dunphy was compensated $12,000 over a two year period. She now believes she was hired for the sole purpose of having sexual relations with Giuliani. He reportedly admitted to Dunphy that he wanted her since interviewing her for the position, which is why she was employed as an off-the-books staffer uh, after, until 2021. Uh, she first publicly accused the 78-year-old... Let's stop there. 78? What? Why is your thing thing even working and then seeking out new new poom pa boom 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 at 78 years old? You don't want to bake butter cookies and read to, like, your great, 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 great grandbabies? Anyway, um, says that she first publicly accused him in January, admitted that, that she performed the sexual favors for Giuliani as part of her job. <laughs> During her first day, Dunphy said Giuliani kissed her in the back seat of a limo and requested racy photos. Eventually, his behavior grew more frightening. With Giuliani forcing herself, for, ooh, I'm sorry, forcing her into intercourse despite her refusing multiple times. 
baby sue him for every um nook and cranny of that money if he did allegedly do this sue him sue him for the sheer fact that he put his uh, mason dixon line tongue in your mouth that you had to lay it low and spread it wide with force, okay? With someone who used to scare off people sitting at the uh, counters during the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. I'm sorry, but this is disgusting behavior from anyone, but especially this. Especially this. Uh, Miss Mamas, I hope that you get every bit of coin if he did allegedly do this. Moving on. Child, not Montana being the first state to completely ban TikTok. So Helena, Montana becomes the first state to completely ban TikTok. Law expected to become litmus test for the rest of the United States. So who is in Montana? The only Montana I recognize is Hannah Montana. Um, This is terrible. This is terrible. I kind of figured that they would be banning TikTok soon. Um, and they were going to stick with it, but I didn't realize it was going to be this soon. Y'all, if, if you need me, okay, I'm going to be right here on the YouTube. Follow me on YouTube, same name, okay? Um, and we'll figure it out together, okay, amongst friends. Actually, the link is in the bio. Go ahead, follow me on YouTube. Um, and if, if this is on YouTube already, hey, y'all, hey, your cousin's back because obviously, they're blocking and, and starting to block TikTok um, from sh sea to shining sea. And if this is YouTube, hey, cousin, what's up? I'm bike. Okay. They blocking TikTok from sea to shining sea. So here I am moving on. Y'all let me know your opinions on this. Um, Uber is allowing 13 to 17 year old passengers to request rides from their parental with parental tracking options. Do I think this is a good idea? I understand that it may be more convenient, but I feel like security has to be top notch. And it's already risky for the parents and the adults um, taking Uber and other ride shares. So with children, baby, I feel like this is going to be a catastrophe. I really do. With all the trafficking that's going on, um, I really don't understand why this decision was made. I do understand in a perfect world why this was made, but I fear for a lot of these kids because someone is going to take advantage of this um, window of opportunity. Um, y'all just watch yourselves and watch our kids. Please be safe. Moving on. And baby, not Kim Zodiac being tardy to the um, divorce hearing. Now, she's saying that she demands Croy take random drug tests since he's fighting for primary custody of their four children. Claims he smokes weed and shouldn't cut hair until screening is complete. Kim, <laughs> y'all got four eleven children. Everybody is smoking a little ganja with all them dang on kids. Okay, plus your two before Croy's. Let's not do this. The money is dried up, okay? When you were singing, whoa, 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 you didn't ask for no drug test. So don't ask now, okay? It is what it is. Moving on. Now, last but not least, Scoops, um, this is a who was wrong in this. So a man goes off on his daughter's teacher for seemingly failing to acknowledge her saying it's not my fault while getting in trouble. Um, states who's listening to her. I'm going to play the clip. I got this from the neighborhood talk. And I'm going to just say this. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think. I'll be right back. We called mom because sometimes that helps de-escalate her. Um, what, did she, know, what did she just say? I can never tell. What is she saying what? now? What is she saying now? Uh, she's saying that's not my fault. Okay, so what is the, let's follow up on that. What is the, that's not my fault? What did she just say? I know she said that's not my fault. What is the, that's not my fault? Is anybody engaging her or talking to her and asking her but what's right not her I'm fault? I'm talking to you. No, no, no. I don't hey, care. I don't care about fault? that. I know. You want to talk to me. I'm not there. Let's talk to her. Who's going to engage her? All behavior okay. is communication. Listen to me. All be you're not the I only agree. person. You're not the only person with who's educated in this. Don't have me match credentials and you don't know who I really am. So listen to me. All behavior is communication. She's communicating. Who's listening to her? I don't need you to talk to me. I need somebody to communicate with her. Because when I get up there, I, she's not in trouble with me. Because I hear, I see a lot of ignoring my daughter. 
My daughter is an active girl, a five-year-old. No one is communicating with her. You want me to suppress the behavior, but we're not getting to the root of the issue. She said, that's not my fault. I don't hear anyone else talking to her. And you can't do it all, Miss Drake. Even though they may want to put it all on you, you can't do it all. So who do you have to support you? Who's to, who should be talking to my daughter? So let's engage that conversation. Don't talk to me. I'll listen. I'll stay on the phone with you. Ask her what's not her fault. Okay. I, all right. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Let's work together. Let's work together. Let's go. Don't talk to me. Talk to her. I'll listen. Okay. Ava. Some of y'all ain't gonna wanna hear this. Some of y'all ain't gonna wanna hear this. Some of y'all kids is horrible. <laughs> I'm not saying this child. While I'm all for standing up for your children, I feel like you should be an advocate because I've seen uh, adult bullies um, in these positions of being a teacher, administrator, whatever. I've seen it. It can very much happen. At five years old, Yes, I'm going to ask you what happened, but I'm calling your parents to let you know what's going on. Don't you want me to keep you abreast of what's happening? And I, I've i worked in schools, okay? Um, some of y'all want the teachers to raise your children. Y'all ain't going to like what I'm about to say, but some of y'all want the teachers to raise your children, and they do not get paid enough for that. They don't get paid to raise your bad children. Now, it may have been a mis miscommunication on this particular occasion. But all that condescending talk, the minute you would have hit me with a let's not compare credentials, baby, I would have told you to meet me outside because I'm going to lose mine anyway. It's not going to matter. Because you're not about to waste my time nor compare credentials. And I'm the, pro the professional telling you your child is having a behavioral issue and let's talk about it. I'm talking, I'm doing my part, sir. Maybe you can do yours. Maybe instead of Tootsie Rolling on this uh, voicemail, this call, you can come to the school. We can have us a conference and we can all discuss something. And I can teach you a thing or two about my credentials. You're not about to talk to me like that. That's the problem with some of y'all talking about some you don't know who I am. Sir, you could be the queen of England, okay? May she rest wherever she rested. But you're not about to talk to me like that. Not what, what I'm getting paid to watch your little snot-nosed kids. I'm sorry, some of y'all kids is bad. Advocate for your children, yes. But what should have happened, listen to what the teacher has to say. Maybe a conference between you, the teacher, and your child. Ask your child what happened. Verify the stories. And let's have a conversation. But all this condescending talk, you're not about to woosai and Yanla Van Zant my job. Because I'll lose this MF and start working for like a rideshare company. I don't care, okay? I, I really don't care. I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me, guys. I'm trying to build up this page. Don't forget to like, share, follow, and comment for more content. As always, I'm Hershey Sunday, and I'm back with the scoop. Peace.